In this video, we take a look at a couple of particular examples of redox reactions uh, that are uh, of interest. Okay, let's act, uh, try to balance the following reaction. We're going to have lead with uh, lead 4 oxide and sulfuric acid. to generate lead sulfate. And water. All right, so uh, this uh, equation is, in, uh, this redox reaction is interesting because what we have is that uh, in reagents we have the same element in two different oxidation states. Okay, that is zero, and that is plus four. Okay, and these two elements generate a unique product okay, with a different uh, oxidation state, okay, which is plus two. Okay? That type of reaction is called comproportionation. Comproportionation. Right? So what, we have, what we're going to try to do in this video is, uh, uh, aside from learning the, the concept of what comproportionation is, we're going to try to uh, see if we can uh, balance these reactions using the same uh, hot reaction method that we have used uh, uh, previously. Alright, so notice that this will be the oxidation reaction and this will be the reduction. Alright, so using the uh, hub reaction method the oxidation can be written as lead to generate lead sulfate that's lead 2 sulfate okay. And uh, notice that in order to be able to balance this sulfate that we have right here, we also need to include uh, uh, disulfuric acid in reagents. Okay. All right. So let's see if we can balance this half reaction. Uh, the lead is balanced, sulfate is balanced, oxygen is balanced. So we only have to worry about these protons here, and we can do that by adding two protons right here. Now we have to worry about the uh, charge and uh, we can take care of the charge by adding two electrons. This is an oxidation reaction, so it makes, sure, uh, it makes sense that you have electrons in products. All right, let's look at the other hot reaction. That's the reduction. Okay, and the reduction is going to be uh, lead 4 oxide okay, to generate lead 2 sulfate. Right, much as before, in order to be able to balance the sulfate, uh, we actually need to use the sulfuric acid as a reagent. All right, and let's see uh, how else we can balance this. All right, so the lead is balanced, sulfate uh, is balanced, oxygens are not. We actually have two oxygens right here, so we need, we need to add two uh, water molecules right here to get the uh, oxygens balanced, and then uh, we have protons. We have four protons or four hydrogenos in products, then two, so we actually need to adhere to protons. All right, uh, all of the atoms are now balanced, and we just have to balance the charge, and the charge can be balanced by adding two electrons right here. Okay, great. So we have the oxidation and the reduction have reactions. We're going to add them up, and that will be our balanced comproportionation reaction. All right, so uh, there's going to be lead with lead oxide, lead four oxide, uh, then two sulfuric acids, so four, the protons and electrons go away, and then that is going to return two lead to sulfate, and then two molecules of water. Okay, so again, that is an example of a reaction that we call comproportionation. Okay, and the key of comproportionation reactions is that you have two reagents containing the same element in different uh, oxidation states that uh, do a redox reaction to generate one unique uh, uh, product that contains that element. Okay, so here you have an example of comproportionation reaction. All right, the second example that we're going to see in this video is going to be disproportionation, which will be, as uh, you will see in just a minute, okay, exactly the opposite of this. All right, so uh, let's look at this disproportionation reaction, uh, which is that the composition of hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. All right, so there's hydrogen peroxide, and then that generates uh, water and oxygen. 
all right, why is this a disproportionation reaction? Uh, notice that uh, the redox uh, species here is going to be oxygen, which in peroxide has an oxidation number of minus 1, but then in water has an oxidation reaction, or oxidation number of minus 2, and in oxygen, the elemental oxygen is 0. Okay, so that this is what a disproportionation reaction is. You have uh, uh, one species that reacts to generate two different species, and the commonality is that uh, uh, one atom in the uh, reagent species is going to go to uh, uh, two different species with different oxidation states. Okay, so here you have it. All right, let's identify the redox pairs. All right, that will be your reduction, and this is going to be your oxidation. Obviously, this is a really easy reaction to balance without doing the half reaction method, right? Notice that uh, you simply uh, need to half the amount of oxygen that you have right here. That will be one half, or if you multiply everything by two, you will have here a two, a two, and then a one, and that reaction will be balanced. Okay, this is still a good opportunity to make sure that the half reaction method still works, right? Uh, and, and see if it actually um, uh, checks out with our simple balancing reaction without using the half reaction method. All right, let's look at the oxidation uh, half reaction. The oxidation half, half reaction is going to be H2O2, hydrogen peroxide, to generate uh, O2. Right, we need to balance uh, the hydrogen atoms, so we need two protons right there, we need to balance the charge, so that is two electrons right here. And that reaction is now balanced. The uh, reduction half reaction is going to be uh, hydrogen peroxide uh, going to water. Okay, the oxygens are not balanced here, so we need a 2 right there. And now the hydrogens are not balanced, so we need um, two protons right here. And then to balance the charge, we just need two electrons right here. All right, so uh, we are ready to uh, add this up. Notice that the protons and the electrons will cancel with the protons and electrons. And then we just have that this is equal to two hydrogen peroxides uh, generating two water molecules. And uh, one molecule of oxygen, which again is exactly what you would expect if you had not done the half reaction method. Again, this is a reaction that you could balance without looking at the half reaction method. Okay, but it's a good uh, example for how the half reaction method is pretty solid, right? Uh, this is also a reaction, uh, an example of a reaction that we call disproportionation. Okay, and again the key is that you have one element in reagents in just one single compound, and that generates two different products, okay, in which that element is in two different uh, oxidation states.